Paloma Faith. She's been talking about relationships. Now, she says being with the same partner for life isn't easy or natural and that some of her songs talk about how unbearable it is to be with her partner, but she does stay with him. And so we immediately said, you know, does that mean, is it possible to love someone but not always like them? And Jane said... abso flaming lutely <laughs> <laughs> And I said, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I mean, and I didn't even get married until just before my 40th birthday. Um, but I think if lockdown has taught me anything... So, I mean, Gar Gary and I just had a bit of a, a bad patch where we were just not getting on at all. And I realised that when we're going through the inevitable bad patches of every marriage, I often would just go and do other things to, to just distract myself until I felt a bit better about the situation. And then, it, you know, you'd go on holiday or you would go out for dinner with girls yeah. and just have a bit of a vent. And, of course, you can't do that in, in lockdown, so you have to kind of almost stay and, and face it off. Um, which we've done a couple of times, but it's actually been quite good. And we're now going through a really good patch. And I think that, you know, you do have to accept that it's not always going to be hearts and flowers and that sometimes the, the rough patches are the bits that, that then kind of get you over that bump and in, into the next good patch. And that's certainly how it's always been for us. You know, I always remember when I was, I don't know how old I was, 18 or 19 or something, and my parents had a bit of a tiff or a bit of a row. And I was talking to my dad and he said, you know what, Ruth, he said, you know, marriage isn't always easy, you have to work at it. And at 18 or 19, I went, God, how boring. Do you? That's <laughs> how boring. But, oh, there's my dad, my lovely dad. Um, you know, my parents were married for 50 odd years. Um, and 50 so, odd years or just 50? No, years? no, no, they weren't odd years. <laughs> I can't remember exactly 50 plus years. Yeah, yeah. Um, but at that, you know, that young age, I was like, oh, that sounds dull because I assumed, you know, that all relationships were all hearts and flowers. But you do realise as you get older and you're in relationships, Amy and I have been together like 24 years, that you do have to put some work in. And when oh, you yeah. think about it, you put the work in, don't you, with your friendships, with your work colleagues. You know, you put work into that, so you should put work into your relationship. And there are days when you look at them and you think, I, I, you know, I'll always love you, yeah. but at the moment, I don't like you. Yeah, and people see that with Eamon and I on TV, you know, so I say, well, we don't row, actually. And people say, well, they argue. I say, we don't. It's just I don't always agree with him. And just because he's my husband, I'll never always agree with him. So, and I can't be that person that doesn't voice that opinion. And when I hear people go, we never had a crossword, 25 Who years together. Who has the last word, darling? Oh, they're lying. Lying. We they're lying. Yeah, they're lying, Denise. Who I think the last you're right. The last word pff, depends on the row. Mm. We're quite good at stomping off both of us. I do a lot of door slamming. I'm a real door slammer. <laughs> In fact, suddenly I thought that with glass was going to come out of our kitchen door yesterday. <laughs> Bang! And, and actually, some rows we just leave. We park them. We don't. Yeah. We don't kind of do. It. And compromise, I suppose, Denise, is that word that none I of think, us really like. Yeah. But it's work. I think compromise, and I think it took me till my fifties. And also, I think picking your battles. I, in my very first long relationship, there was a lot of control. So when I then met poor Tim, I was determined that no one was going to tell me what to do. So even if he said. Darling, it's 6 a.m. and you're still dancing naked on a table. Perhaps it's time to come home. I go, nobody's telling me what to do like this. And, um, and so with Lincoln, I just know that there's, you know, basically there are some things that I know will make him fire up. So I just sometimes leave. I, I know what are his triggers. And most of the time, I will just let them go and he's the same with me. But obviously, there's some days when you're tired or you're busy or you're ratty, but it doesn't happen. But I think that I've learned how to compromise much, much later in life than maybe I should. But going back to what Paloma Faith said about staying if it's unbearable, I don't often think you should, and I think mm. you should work at it, but I think many children don't thank you for staying yeah. if the relationship is yeah. obviously unbearable. It depends what the unbearable days are gone means, when you have it? to make your bed and lie in it. Yeah, it depends if, um, if unbearable means said, yeah. yeah, if unbearable means abuse or alcoholism or whatever, of then course. obviously that's a different thing. What about, what about it's also easier not to fight yeah. when you're sober. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I said, what about our resident marriage expert? <laughs> well, I was wondering when you come for my point of view. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you've got two whole parts today. I compromise more than you lot know. In yep. fact, I'm nicer than you lot assume, and I put up with a lot, and I have put up with a lot, because all the men I've been with have been really, really difficult. And when they turn around and say, I'm difficult, I just think, well, we're going to have a row straight away, because I am not as difficult as they are. Um, 
I think it is really, really hard to compromise. Really hard to compromise. And I think women compromise too much. I've just listened to you three and it was nauseating. You're all busy compromising. <laughs> no, no, we said there are times when Not you choose all the time. to compromise. I don't think I said I compromise. So sometimes I go, for I an choose. easy life. Yeah. Sometimes you have to pick Compromise for an easy life. Well, that's not my option. That's not my way of doing things, I'm afraid. Could that be why there's been so many marriages, <laughs> Janet? No, <laughs> it's why I feel what makes me feel comfortable. And also, I do have accommodated all their weird ways over the years. There you go. <laughs> She's angelic. She's angelic. <laughs> <laughs>